Okay, so you're ready to spray, you've got your chemical um, and you're ready to tackle the weeds. Now, my thinking, and uh, I'm not suggesting for a minute this is something that you should do, I'm going to talk you through um, what I do. So most of these chemicals are designed to, to, to effectively kill life. Um, they're designed to... Um, remove to kill off uh, undesired living uh, plants um, most of the products um, will have a um, safety sheet uh, accompanying the, the product um, now um, if you were to, to look on the container um, it will give you a bit of information um, so here we've got um, curtail evo and literally this sticker on the front if i can do it with one hand wrong side it peels open So it peels open into a bit of a, a booklet. Okay, so this is really important. Um, within it, it will give you guidance on the quantities, um, the dosage, um, how much you should mix um, with, uh, in this case, water um, to dilute it. Um, but more importantly, it will um mention about operator safety now for myself i read this and i take it on board i don't care what i'm making um in terms of financially from a client for spraying this if this is designed to kill living things i'm going to sit up straight i'm going to take it seriously um and and i'm going to try and adhere to some of the guidance that's written on there. So this particular one, as I said before, do not take uh, my opinion. Um, do your own research, read up on it, and uh, work out what you feel comfortable with and what you need to do. Okay, so on here it says wear suitable protective clothing coveralls, suitable protective gloves and face protection, face shields when handling the concentrate, wear suitable protective gloves when handling contaminated surfaces. It says, uh, may cause an allergic skin reaction, causes serious eye irritation, very toxic to aquatic, aquatic life with long lasting effects. If medical advice is needed, have product container or label at hand, keep out of reach of children, avoid breathing vapors or spray. Do not eat, drink or smoke when using this product. Collect spillage. Dispose of contents container in a to a licensed hazardous waste disposal contractor or collection site, ex except for empty clean containers which can be disposed of as non-hazardous waste. To avoid risk to human health and the environment, comply with the instructions for use. Avoid breathing vapors or spray so instantly that's telling me okay here's a company that in plain english right in front of you on the product is saying hello wear some protective gear um not just gloves um something a bit more serious so that's exactly what i'm going to go and do now um, I seem to be in the minority within the industry, um, the amount of times that I'll 
um, drive past um, someone that is spraying um, weed killer um, of some form and they will be very, wearing very little, if any, PPE um, and uh, and they seem to be fine with it. Um, but for me, um, I have a completely different stance. So here I am. Base protection straight away, preventing those vapors getting to me. Any spillages or uh, splashes, even when I'm making up the mix, or oh, I've got my goggles on to protect me from that. I've got chemical gloves on. Yes, they're a bit dirty. Definitely need a clean, and I've got my coverall as well. So. So this is how I operate whenever I'm using uh, any form of weed killer. And funny enough, because I do, I tend to get a lot more uh, people taking extra precautions um, when they see me. I advise any uh, properties that I'm applying weed killer at for them to close windows. Um, to keep pets um, or small children um, inside um, and and also um, for my own risk assessment obviously I'm cordoning off areas um, to prevent any or one, on anyone else um, being impacted by it as well um, and risk assessments are really uh, integral um, to this element of the job um, so get organized get prepared take more responsibility um, and uh, and for these jobs, make sure you're charging the, the, the right amount as well for a weekly application. If you're doing a particular task, whether it's um, with a chainsaw, working at height or chemicals that are designed um, to, uh, to, to kind of um, kill living things, um, you should be really thinking with your own head, is it really worth it to, to make a quick uh kind of pound here and here and there um the the impact possibly on your life um it's all well being a homeowner perhaps using weed killer maybe once or twice three times a year on your drive or patio but if you do this as part of your regular maintenance as a professional you go from house to house and you're applying this more frequently than the average homeowner um you may want to uh to, to kind of put a health tax, a cost um, associated um, that reflects um, actually um, how important and significant uh, this is um, and uh, perhaps be a little less blasé about it, let's say. If you enjoy uh, kind of your life, your health, take responsibility for it now um, and, uh, and there's nothing wrong with charging a suitable amount, a suitable amount um, for, for the risks associated with it. Okay.